Greetings Crusaders, my name is Fury, and today we are back with some more Crusader Reading Day. So yeah, we are back today with some more stories from uh, our beloved friend, Claire. So we got a couple more stories here to do today. Um, still waiting on a few others for some other videos later on down the road, but that's okay. And if you guys have any stories you guys want me to read out, please, by all means, give me some suggestions. Or if you have some that you'd really like me to check out, send a link and I'll be happy to take a peek at them. But other than that, without further ado, let's get into them today, shall we? So we start the story, The Golden Ruins. Why would Oculus send him here? That could easily alert the other CIs to our location. Nah, fuck non. I'm sure he had a reason. Do remember the broodmother called him in to speak with him before he left. Wiss paused, slinking back into the shadows. It had been over a week since he had... A cullis. Had directed him to and been surprised to find another variation of Ikor there. He was introduced to the head of this old group. A large female named Shiva, and almost immediately was brought into the fold, so to speak. He learned from the rest of the clan that these Dark Ikurs were called Malice Ikurs, and weren't usually so friendly in general, but this herd was. Although, they said that that was only likely because the broodmother of the clan had somehow bestowed Shiva in a way that made them all fall in line. Needless to say, uh, Wisp deeply respected the Broodmother. But while other Malice Ikors welcomed him in their weird way, one didn't. Faknan, he was perhaps the largest Geller Wisp had ever seen, and was Shiva's mate. He hadn't liked the Wisp from the start, and now he knew why. Faknan didn't want to carnage Ikors finding him. Slinking away quietly, Wisp considered what to do. He recalled seeing a pearl catcher with magic tattoos wandering around, and that gave Wisp an idea. Perhaps that pearl catcher could help him get tattoos that would hide his presence from the CIs. With that goal in mind, he disappeared to go find the local tattoo artist. After asking around, he was directed to the pearl catcher's den, and upon entering was met with similar golden dragon cleaning his tools. Clearing his throat, Wisp caught his attention. Hey there, how can I help you? I was wondering if you could help me. I'd like to get an enchanted tattoo that can hide my presence. The pearl catcher's eyes lit up, whether at the prospective, prospective challenge or chance to tattoo something. Wisp couldn't tell. I got just the thing. Hop up on the bench and I'll get right to work. Following instructions, Wisp let himself fall into a meditative state as the pearl catcher worked. Once finished, he started at the gold runes down his side and smiled. These would work perfectly. Thanking the artist, he slipped out, hide shimmering as he moved. Ooh, alright. A little bit neat, a little bit interesting. Got a little bit of a different taste to it. So, uh, Ikurza kind of just wants to blend in. Or try and kind of get away in a sense. He runs like here. Yeah, it's almost like hiding from a family member. When it's just those times when you don't want anybody to find you. Just try to blend in. Make sure no one sees you. That's kind of how I see it. It's kind of funny though, but I like it. This is a good little story. That's a cute little one. I like that one. Alright, so next one up here. So this story is called... The Spider and the Chess Master. Why, brother dearest, I wasn't expecting to see you here. What brings you to my hunting grounds? As he paused and stepped and smirked at Ball, his older brother sitting there with a smug look on his face. I was in the neighborhood and figured I would be such a pleasant surprise if I dropped in. Why? Not happy to see your little brother ball? I always do like when you visit. It's always such a lovely time. Particularly love when you flip my chess table and scatter the pieces. The last part was said in an angry hiss as ball got up in a night. Anasi's face, hot breath, making the smaller Iker's eyes water, but instead of flinching, he laughed, and he laughed hard and twisted to mirth. But brother, what kind of young sibling would I be if I didn't mess with all your stuff? Bell paused and barked out a rough laugh, ruffling Anasi's head fur. Brad, I should gut you with a little quip. But luckily for you, I'm rather fond of your mange-riddled hide of runt. 
Anasi scoffed and put a mock offended look placing upon his own chest like he was actually hurt by his brother's words. Excuse you, but I do not have a mange, nor am I a runt. Sure. Whatever you wish to believe, Ani. Now, did you have anything to tell me, or did you really just stop by? Upon Ball's inquiry, the jovial mood died, and Anasi gained a serious look. According to Eyes, a patrol of Carnagigars will be passing through here in a week. He recommended keeping a low profile during the time. The older Malasiker hummed in understanding. Hmm. I need to think. Akulasi is always looking f out for us, even now as he sits in the Carnage prison running the show. What about you and us? What's your plans? Anasi stood and turned back in the direction he had been headed. I'll be warning father and Aunt Cecilia. Then return home. Mama has been missing her children, apparently. Baal hummed and started back the way he came. Be careful, Anasi. I don't want you to put another brother in the ground. Now don't keep Mama waiting. Anasi just laughed and continued on its way, the sickly green fog of waste swallowing both brothers from sight. And when it cleared, it was likely they had never existed. Ooh, some more deceit on its way, I sense. Some deceitful little words, and of course, family issues. All the family issues. Sounds about right. I don't know why. This this has a very sneaking suspicion, and kind of reminds me of the Huts from Star Wars. God dang, job of the Hut. Oof, that big old slug. <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds me of, but it's neat. I like this one. I do. Ah, it seems this one is more of like a case file almost, or a missing report type deal. So, it says, Missing file from the Carnage Shaker, most wanted files, thought destroyed. Fugitive file of Mama, alias Mama. Name, unknown. Gender, most likely female. Rank, crowned. Status, active and incredibly dangerous. Physical description. Standard Malasiker, black coat, dark red mane, and large set of horns, making her as crowned. Some reports suggest glowing eyes, but this hasn't been confirmed and is highly unlikely. Report. The Malsicker only referred to his mama as a dangerous opponent and incredibly hard to pin down. All attempts to track her have resulted in failure. Very little is known about mama beyond the fact she is always respected amongst the fellow Malasickers and seems to have quite a bit of pull over them. We have no record of her ever being a member of our order, as we all know traitors do not match the limited description we have of her, suggesting she may not have been born a Malasiker. This does not bode well, as there could very well be many Malasikers we do not have files because of this. As mentioned above, some reports suggest she possesses the glowing eyes only ever bestowed upon wardens by the Plaguebringer. This, however, is highly unlikely, but cannot be discounted. If true, Mama is a very dangerous and powerful foe, and should be treated as though she's Rogue Warden. Beyond that, we believe Mama may be running a syndicate of her fellow Malasikers, headed by herself and another Malasiker referred to as Papa. That is deeply troubling, as never before have the Malasikers worked together. Alone, they are a dangerous threat working together. They even more. They are even more so. It is in my opinion that we should be tracking down Mama a priority. She is too dangerous to be left alone. Tactician Erebus. An attached note reads, Warden Aculus, I have moved all files of the families requested and made it seem as though it was an intruder that vandalized the archives. This should keep them off the scent for a while, but give Mama a heads up they may start sniffing around. Tactician Erebus. Nice! Ooh, little case file on a new character, I'm assuming? That's gonna be pretty sweet. I actually can't wait to see how this one goes and develops a little bit more. This will be neat. Plus, I like it. I like the name for the character, just Mama. I don't know. You, you got some vibes off of, uh... I have to admit, you have a little bit of vibes off the character from Mama from Dread. If anybody's seen the movie Dread, the really good movie. Highly recommend seeing it. Sad that it'll never get a sequel, but I don't know why. Kind of reminds me of that, just like complete hiding. But I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. Also has like a bit of a resistance, maybe leader type to it. I don't know. It's kind of neat. But yes, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that is all of our stories for this day. I hope you all enjoyed, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all a very fun farewell, be kind, and of course, 
Good health. Thank <laughs> you.